Uh, what's up, Ramble fam? Welcome to another episode of Ramble Mancy. It's a real good thing I didn't hit the live button a few minutes ago because there was some unhinged nonsense going on behind the screen. <laughs> behind the screen. It's fine. Listen, I really <laughs> hope that my cap. I'm very glad that we were talking about one of the more prominent stream, like a, a completely normal conversation about one of the more prominent streamers on Twitch right before we went live, so that my captions were clean of what we were absolutely talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine listen well the long and the short of it boils down to uh, I'll, I'll just tell you what we were talking about and you can use your imagination for the rest of it we were speculating on um on old musky's likely humiliation and or praise kink anyway moving on um <clears throat> yeah and this is this is this is the kind of pre-show ramble mancy stuff that just comes up completely organically. Listen, you know it's gonna be a good ramble mancy when our energy is fucking unhinged behind the scenes before we go live. Um, <laughs> um anyway, what's up everybody? Welcome to Ramble Mancy. We are here with another free range ramble man. Coming at you live from the Rule of Lore studio, which is nonsense, because the the studio is actually in three separate places in the... <clears throat> that joke got away from me. Anyway, um, how, <laughs> how how's everybody doing today? Um, I saw Kate and Newly Human and Danny. I see you all in the chat. Welcome and hello. Um, <laughs> I actually didn't even notice the, uh, the, the, the time oopsie on the tweet. Um... So, there it is. Listen, listen. I, you yeah. all know what time Ramble Mancy is. If you don't, that's probably John's fault. Anyway, um, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest. The, it probably is. This is just the first bus, I guess, huh? We got this is we're, one of them. Got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're streaming right now, and then we'll end at uh, nine thirty Pacific, and then I'll walk over into my time machine. I'll, I'll turn my time turner mm -hmm. back an hour and a half and then we'll start at 8 p.m there you go yeah exactly um that's true if you, don't, you, if you don't you have john's discord announcements to remind you exactly danny uh <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my gosh um yeah so uh, we no no specific topics for tonight i think we're just we're just chatting tonight um which i'm super down with that usually ends up in something good yeah I, I know we we had talked about doing a Baldur's Gate specific ramble mancy, but I don't think um, that's this one. <laughs> yeah, that's not. I don't think that's this one. We'll I probably think that's one. talk. Mm. Oh, go sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna. We'll probably talk at least a little bit about Baldur's Gate because I know we're all playing a lot of that right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. It's not like last night. No, sorry, not last night. The night before, uh, like midnight, I saw a Steam notification saying Freeman is now playing Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> Midnight? It was, was around it there. Yeah, I mean, it might you might have been playing you might have been playing before then, but like Steam does the weird yeah. things where we'll just like randomly Very just. True. Um, it, well, but yeah, <laughs> we'll probably yep. <laughs> we'll probably if we if we do the Baldur's Gate specific Ramble Mancy, we will like mention it ahead of time so that you all know mm -hmm. it's coming and are just sort of yeah. Um, <clears throat> This mayhem yeah, is exactly the post Pax Australia mayhem I need. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also kind of inclined to wait like another week or two on the Baldur's Gate like Ramble Mancy episode, um, because absolutely still in, in the zeitgeist. But uh, that also gives people an opportunity to play through more than just like Act Act One and Two. Mm -hmm. Because if you're like in, if you're like me, it took you. Uh, I'm gonna go look at a thing real quick. It took you 40 hours to get out of Act 1. Listen, I just beat the game, like, two days ago. <laughs> and I've been playing <laughs> since, like, the day, two days after launch. So, like, yeah, I just, just, just beat. Not because it took me that long, but it's because I kept, like, playing my main character and then going, but what if I made a different character? So, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm listen. My main offline playthrough is um, is a fighter, and uh, like that playthrough, both because this is just sort of what I generally need by the time I hit you know late in the evening and I want to wind down with some Baldur's Gate, uh, is a fighter, and uh, she's no thoughts head empty. If there's a fight, I'll win it. Uh, Karlak and I will win it. Um, and then let's like the one motivation is is fight stuff good, and the other motivation is. 
Oh my god, Shadowheart said that she likes flowers that you can only get in Act 2. I guess I'm going to Act 2, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm sorry, I had to wait until after PAX <clears throat> and uh, Melbourne Fringe or things would not get done. It all begins this weekend. Oh, Kate. Ooh. I am very... I'm excited for your journey to begin. Um, You're in for a treat. Um, <clears throat> it's true. It's true. The opening, the opening cutscene is a lot if you... Are, are, yep. are, are, are squeamish about eyes. It sure is. There's a <laughs> lot of cutscenes I have had to skip. And the worst is that one of the coolest permanent buffs that you can get is unfortunately locked behind an entire cutscene of horrible shit happening to your eye. And I do it yeah. every single time. And I'm just like, like skip, 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 skip through skip, that whole skip, thing because I do not want to see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. That's yep. fair. That's fair. <clears throat> yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. I no. At least, at the very least, it doesn't. In the in the thing that I was just talking about, it doesn't actually show you anything going into the eye. It just shows the person putting stuff into your eye, but like separate from like you. So like you don't actually see that part of it. But you know it's happening, and that's almost no. worse. Um, <laughs> Understood. Mm -hmm. a, a debuff? Which is a debuff? What's a, the um, Sunlit Marsh boss? I don't know if I know what you were referring to. Oh. I I think that I have yet to go there on... I think I'm out of Act 1 on my main playthrough, but I think that's one of the things that my stream playthrough is probably going to go check out. Mm -hmm. There's something Ethel. about... Oh, I guess I never, I never, uh, I never had her help me. I just sort of immediately was like, I don't, fuck you. I, <laughs> so I don't know anything about, like, yeah. Um, I walked up to that NPC and I was like, I bet she's a hag. Lucas, is she a hag? And then, uh, and as it turns out. Anyway, that's the... I love how we were like, this is not the Baldur's Gate Ramblemancy, and then immediately spent like five minutes <laughs> talking about Baldur's Gate. Baldur's uh, Gate was heard, heard us speaking and uh, got the lasso out, started reeling us in. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Very true. Um, it's a good game. It is. It is. I, it's, don't, uh, I can't personally play it on my own. I mm -hmm. like playing with others, but it's a good game. Mm -hmm. I was over at a friend's house last night, and he said basically the same thing. He didn't know that it was multiplayer. And and I was like, oh, hey, listen, it is. So if you get it and you feel like playing it with somebody, I'll do it. So, yeah. Yeah, he's he's definitely somebody who doesn't have a lot of, like, he doesn't have a lot of bandwidth for, uh, for like, large single-player games. Um, and he will often play them for a little while and then just sort of, like, not come back to them. <laughs> It'll, he'll he'll lose steam pretty quickly, <clears throat> which I get. Um, that it's is my uh, coworker to get it when his paycheck allows. Good, you're doing you're doing the Lord's work out there, Danny. And by the Lord's, I mean the absolutes. And by the absolutes, <gasps> I mean not. I mean not. I mean absolutely not. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're a true. <laughs> Said with the same tone as you're a real one. You're a true soul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy ha, ha, hmm. anyway um <laughs> yeah there's there's an there's an energy of uh here at ramble mansion tonight <laughs> there is there absolutely is um what what has everybody been up to recently besides Baldur's gate uh mm -hmm. that like any, i'm i feel like we we spent a lot of like the last couple of 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 ramble mansions either talking about specific stuff with a guest or talking about very specific stuff like together. So I, I feel like I haven't really gotten a chance to like see what, uh, what everybody's been up to. Um, yeah. Also like, uh, the, uh, I was just going to say like, is anyone up to any cute fall shit? Because it's fall. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, Cole and I, the other day made, uh, made some mulled cider and it was really good. And I just now remembered that I have some more and Ooh. cool. Yeah. It's real good. Um, I I might have ruined. I, it was hard to drink for me. I think because I think I put a little. We also make, made it spiked mold cider, 
and I think I accidentally put a little bit too much of the uh, the spiking agent in it, and the spiking agent was uh, also sweet, and it was just a little too sweet. So I th I think that was my mistake, but I but it was good otherwise. Like that like the it was tasty. So, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You mentioned that mulling the other night, and I was like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, I can almost smell it. Like, <laughs> oh, it was so good, especially because so we don't actually have mulling spices like the thing we have the individual spices that are in mulling spices but not like yeah. mulling spices so the recipe that we were using called for like a quarter cup and cole and i looked at each other and we're like, cole was like what do we do do we just i was like honestly we'll just take a cup a quarter cup measuring and just fill it with some random combination of of the <laughs> actual spices and just right, we'll pray. get some fucking anise in here and some <laughs> cinnamon in here no, and legitimately <laughs> That is exactly what we did. We put like all the like the whole allspice and the the star anise and like the you know like the um, cinnamon and what was the other thing that we I don't remember what else we put in it but like we just put filled a whole quarter cup with that and just dumped it in like that was it turned out great <laughs> like it turned out great um but yeah uh Kate says I ran a Pax Oz panel entitled Crit or Kiss the Monster Manual we fit. We filled the theater. I'm riding the high. That's amazing. I am so happy for you. That's so I'm fucking cool. So awesome. I'm so sad that I like lack the ability to get to Australia because I would have gone to that panel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, oh my, that sounds and incredible. just to be clear, are, is this basically just a version of like Smash or Pass with the Monster Manual? I really hope it is. <laughs> I really I, hope, it's, what that's it's, what it sounds like. It sounds it sounds like Smasher Pass with the Monster Manual, and that is there will be a vod. Is. Hell yes, you must post oh, that. Hell yeah. As soon as there's a vod, you must post that in the in the critter in the kiss ramble mancy. When all right, uh, Freeman, write that. Freeman, Freeman, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> critter kiss ramble mancy. <laughs> oh, That's... listen, we we don't even have to stick to the Monster Manual in this one. We could go in all. We could go into like the oh. other. There's so many other books. Oh man, there are. Oh god, I'm just gonna start pulling all the random ass fucking indie RPGs off of my shelf. <laughs> like, here's a horror RPG. Here's but a with weird Tinder, bi wait, but with Tinder bios and no reveal of what they were until voting was done. That's fucking incredible. And yes, absolutely, Kate. If we decide, to, genuinely, if we decide to do this, I'm gonna reach out to you and be like, "Hey, want a guest?" <laughs> That's yeah, fucking incredible, I would, though. I. Listen, Kate. I would, I would adore Critter Kiss Ramble Mancy Edition. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh God. See, I listen. Please do not ever make me write um, a dating app bio for myself. But writing them for fantasy <laughs> monsters. No, you've unlocked something here. <laughs> I'm just now. I God. I just had them like a cursed thought. And, like, that was me trying to imagine what a beholder's dating profile would sound yeah, like. I was also thinking And I hate it. I hate it. Like, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Kate wrote that. Oh, good. Good. I... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh no, Kate. Of course, that's, oh, that's God. That was good. That's that, that's a good one. Bye, John. I just now noticed that John <laughs> took the express <laughs> past express down. Chat, find yourself as someone as funny as I find myself. Um, <laughs> uh, John, you really did, Kate. Oh, ooh. that's incredible. That's um, awesome. Was the one for Knowles loves a good laugh. <laughs> I love to laugh and have fun. And like... God. Mm. If I had a nickel for every time I read that in a dating profile, I would demand more money because, frankly, I deserve compensation um, for oh, reading yeah. that um... as many times as I did. <laughs> um... 
if I had to, if if I similarly, if I had a nickel for every single time I saw the word, like the the phrase, like loves going on adventures, um, for you know that's code for midnight trips to Walmart, right? Like you know that's what that is. <laughs> and listen, like that was a shit. Like that was that was my definition of fun when I lived in my college town. Yeah, that has because there wasn't shit else to do because it was in the middle of a goddamn cornfield. Um, yeah, that's not fair. Like, all... That's not fair. There was also soy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just... you're right. That was, you're, hold on, hold on now. There's also soy too. There's... Don't, don't, don't forget, don't forget the uh, the the hog the hog farm Oof. that if the wind blew the wrong direction, everybody smelled. Also, like, listen, like yeah. having the weird thing about it too was that like sometimes, like certain nights of the year, you could hear cattle, like just yep. sort of braying in the distance. But the thing about it mm. is that growing up on a on a ranch in like a cattle ranch in Montana, like that's not an unusual sound for me. But there was something about those cows that just sounded fucking demonic in their college town <laughs> because I didn't know for like a solid 20 minutes what was going on. I was like I think what it's is happening. And like, yeah. Generally, I think it's because it was like a river valley and there were a bunch of like cliffs and like yeah. bluffs and stuff around mm. it because no joke when there was something about the valley and like this is this is something that i challenge anybody who uh anybody to do um regardless of where you live and then you know <laughs> especially if you have lived in several places but like go outside sometime and just like no headphones nothing sit down and like listen to like what the steady state of your your surroundings is sure. right you know because the the twin cities I live in a major metropolitan area. It's not quiet here. Like there's there's never a moment of total quiet if you're living anywhere near close to the city. There's always the, like distant sounds of traffic, sirens, the light rail, um, you know, like people doing people things. Right? There's just always sound. Um, but like I'm from places a a place three or four times the size of our college town, which is still not very big. Um, we're talking the difference between 5,000 and 20,000. Um, still a small town. But, like, I remember distinctly in Decora, I got done working um, a shift at, at, at Marty's and I, the, the, like, greasy spoon on campus, <laughs> and I went to take the garbage out and I just sat down on the loading dock outside and I could hear somebody, hear somebody's footsteps walking across campus on the sidewalk like towards the union and i could hear the car a car singular half a mile away coming down a big fucking hill on the highway and it just echoed all around i the know exactly valley. what you're talking about because i've 100 percent heard that like i <laughs> <laughs> car singular it was one in the morning and it's it car derogatory little... no uh... <laughs> well, it's, all, it's the same thing here too yeah because of the way if there's it's not as um, open, but there. It's we kind of live in an area where it's sort of like a fishbowl, so sound mm -hmm. is really strange. Maybe yeah. not during the day; it's not as easy. But if if I'm awake at like one or two in the morning and I'm like outside doing the same thing you were just talking about, John, mm -hmm. um, just like I stop, I listen, I even like smell to see if someone has a campfire going on. I will hear a car, and I will know exactly like it's on this street and that street is like half a mile that yeah. way i don't know which direction based on the sound and the engine which way they're going to go if they turned this direction or not it's really and it's because yeah. it's so quiet and because of the yep. shape of the landscape mm -hmm. and like yeah. i grew up i grew up in a small town and so i'm really i'm more used to that than i am to the city and like mm. it's it's always so weird for me when i go outside here still just to think about like how much ambient noise there is when like i i'm from it i'm from a small town and legitimately i could at all times just hear the low-grade hum of the cement plants at the edge of town yeah and anyway this like... was this has been a sneaky plug for terminus uh that john's game that is <laughs> <laughs> sneaky plug for terminus rest in bar dot itch dot io slash terminus <laughs> Oh uh, God! Oh, yeah, God. I love Amity. I was built different, and you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. 
Oh god. In some good ways and in some really not good ways. That's very true. Oh man. Yeah. I man. I wish I'm not sure that I'm quite brave enough to talk about my like many of my online dating experiences in such a public sort of venue, but Man, if I ever get there, boy, will I have stories to tell. Like that one time <laughs> that... when somebody just casually did an ableism on my ADHD. And like, <laughs> do you remember that? That wasn't even that long ago. Remember... That was just a few years ago. That was I like. I remember that. Honestly, it might have been. It was. It was the same year uh, that that like later in the year, like Cole and I uh, got together. But it was like earlier that same year. It was to the point where it was more comical than like. I wasn't mad. I was. I honestly thought the whole thing was very funny, mm -hmm. but like, it was. It was a whole thing. Anyway, I'm like, I'm like, God, why don't you just focus? No, no, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even that. It was more of like a like the person just sort of cat. Like I mentioned my ADHD just as part of a different conversation, and then they started asking me questions about it very casually, and then it turned into, well. You know, I you know I'm somebody who who cares for someone who has a lot of like mental health issues, and I just don't know that that would work out. Whatever, I'm like, the implication that I need you to care for me is real, <laughs> just really not doing it for me. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a pull the eject handles. Like. The, the, and the, the first question that kicked it off too was a question like it was something to the effect of, uh. Would you say that your ADHD is well managed? <laughs> and like, are I, you my doctor? I I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. I really did, and I I gave I gave a, a, an earnest answer to that question, and mm. then it went just, then, whew, yeah. it, it went a direction. Anyway, <laughs> I have screenshots yeah. of that. I because I need I wanted to I wanted the receipts just in case. Like I needed I needed that. Like anyway. I have screenshots mm -hmm. of that conversation, and I think, uh, I don't know, did I did I see Amethyst earlier? No, I didn't. Um, but no, uh, Amethyst has at least seen those those screenshots, because I <laughs> Crystal saw them. I sent them to her immediately, because so I was like, of all of my friends, you are the one that I think will appreciate this the most. <laughs> <laughs> and the truly absurdity, truly the absurdity of that situation was... <laughs> Yeah, we save that one for uh, we save we save dating stories for Ramble Nancy at the aforementioned Ramble Nancy after dark. Um, right. All yeah. Of us are in <laughs> bathrobes. We set our backgrounds to like being next mm -hmm. to a fire, and then we mm -hmm. all have like a glass of whiskey. Yeah. Um, oh gosh. Hi Matt. Welcome. <laughs> Hi Matt. Welcome. Yeah. No, I. Those were those. That would actually be like actually kind of a fun stream. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hate doing that. I just, yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, turns out that this free range ramble mancy is actually just uh, us brainstorming ideas for future ramble mancies. <laughs> Listen, that's not not how making content works. <laughs> Half the time you're in the middle of doing it and then you're like, oh shit, that would be really fun to do. Huh? The, and then it's... a couple months later you're like, oh. Yeah, the worst is when you scramble and scrape to get together an idea for content and then you make it and halfway through doing it, you're like, you know what would have been a way better idea? So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God, Matt. <laughs> I, for I keep forgetting that that... Anyway. Hit the deck. It's a free range ramble. Pew, pew. Yep. I got it. Uh, newly humans, just to be fair, I'm usually drinking whiskey when ramble, ma ramble Nancy happens already. Hell yeah. Fair enough. Um, I strongly considered going downstairs to make myself an old fashioned before the I did show too. started. Um, yeah. And I was like, no, I will treat myself afterwards. I'm unhinged enough already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. I, I I also considered that. Um, I don't know. I did also say. consider that as well, and I'm also just doing it. So <laughs> I'll do it for both of y'all. Yes, with the right. follow through. <laughs> Freeman Freeman uh, Freeman quite literally poured one out for the homies. <laughs> it's, it is not an old fashioned though. That's the main oh, difference. Well, it's mm -hmm. not quite the same. Yeah. Sorry to let y'all down, but <laughs> oh I my gosh. Be. 
I will say, Kate earlier said I love going on adventures through fantasy lands and weird dystopias. Um, to my to my comment about seeing uh, love going on adventures, and I just want to I want to I want to finish the thought that I had there, which is if that is in your dating profile and it is not code for come LARP with me, <laughs> I'm going to be mad at you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> Although. I'm not very good at subtext, so I, especially with people I don't know, so you should just tell me that you like LARPing and then invite <laughs> me to go. Uh, <laughs> Frankly, just put a picture of you LARPing in there and say that you like LARPing and Honestly, I will immediately I feel like this right. is kind of turning into the Ramblemancy idea we said wasn't going to happen, but I, I did once <laughs> match with somebody on a, on a, on a dating site who oh, was... <laughs> dating. <laughs> I did once match with somebody on a dating site uh, who she was a a cosplayer, but a very specific cosplayer. She was part of a Mandalorian clan, uh, and she made her own Mandalorian armor and shit. Um, and this was maybe one of the nerdiest things that I've ever done in a dating profile, but when when I m sent her a message, I had an opening greeting in Mandoa, the language of, like, Mandalorians, which is maybe not canon anymore, but, like, anyway, that's... And she absolutely responded in Mandoa, so, like... <laughs> That's, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did not go anywhere, and I it, I it was one hundred percent my fault because I was uh, a dipshit. But you know, I di and who didn't know how to have conversations with in like online dating scenes. It was nothing like bad. It was just like truly just me being dense. Like that's it. Like, <clears throat> mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, it was it was just like a, I made a dumb comment or not a dumb comment. Like I, I asked a dumb question and then I just got ghosted. So. <laughs> 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 and like later on i was like ah yeah upon further rereading i was like i'd have ghosted me too this is a weird question <laughs> 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 uh yeah. but anyway i don't know what it is about dating apps that just causes like me and i think people writ large to forget how to communicate with another human being absolutely <clears throat> yeah it's like, like i <laughs> It's just it like it's just such a weird format. Um, like if I'm gonna message you to hit you up about playing a tabletop game and I barely know you, like, like listen, Geek Outs and I know each other because we both like showed up in the same Twitch chat every so often for like a few months, and then I complained about being a forever DM, and now we're very good friends uh because matt was like hey do you want to play a game and then pow and like i don't know i just, I don't know what it is about the specifically like the texting window for like tinder bumble hinge okay cupid whatever you're oh god it's i think Twitter. it's the implicit pressure of it i think mm -hmm. it's the the impl the implicit like pressure of like you want to come off as funny you want to come off as safe if you're a guy uh you want to come off as like yeah that's a big that's a big <laughs> one <laughs> you're, you're, you're trying to come off as like charming and maybe like interesting you want to come off and there's so much pressure that you just fuck it up like you just there's there's <laughs> nothing natural about like messaging somebody <laughs> in like nothing is natural because you're trying so hard to make all these different pieces fit together and yeah it's just <laughs> uh-huh yeah yeah, it's it's uh, like there's it feels like it's because there's this weird like pretext or or like thing hovering around that you're not supposed to acknowledge, but that is still there. But you're yeah, just, you, like the the like what's the what's the, I don't know this person at all apart from like the 250 words maybe that they put on their dating profile and like three to six pictures of them. But like I like how how flirtatious is is going to be this like how how many bi like billion times have they been asked this question or been given this line about some yeah. interest of theirs or not like you know yeah but and there's yeah. there's also something like i think it's really easy to get jaded about dating if you are exclusively like online dating like on apps or on online dating or whatever it's really i know it happened to me hmm. uh i got real jaded for a while which is which was and luckily i had a moment of self reflection where i was like maybe this is actually worse for me than this is doing more harm than good. And so that's when I stopped. But like, it was just like, <laughs> I feel like there, there, there's one of the hardest things not to get jaded about, at least like, I don't know about anybody else's experience, but like, at least as a guy is like, you see all these bios where, where like 
uh, of like for me seeing all these bios of, of women saying things like like message me more than hey I'm not going to respond to like hey or whatever and the number of times when like opening messages that I got from women were just that like hey and I was like what do I do with this I don't know mm-hmm. what to do with this and yeah it's real easy to get jaded is what I'm saying like, I I understand that sometimes you just like throw a hey out there and whatever it is it's hard to respond to but also like sometimes it's just what you you just want to get the conversation started I get it but like there's just something like it's so easy to get jaded about that kind of thing on like online dating and I'm just like and yeah <clears throat> and at that point you should step away if you re- if you find if you're online dating and you find yourself at that point where you're feeling jaded that's probably your cue to step away for a little while like you don't have to go away forever but just maybe like take some steps back exit stage right mm-hmm. pursued yeah, by Ben absolutely um, <laughs> pursuit okay so I mean if my panel is anything to go by people will read into those a lot and I think mm-hmm. that is. I think that is a fair assessment. I think that much more so than we, when we have any kind of natural or normal like in-person interaction with somebody or even in like more organic online settings, like people people read into those read into dating profiles so much. Like you can you can write eight words and people are going to have a whole lot of assumptions about what those are based on, you know, the fact that those those apps just like expose you to so many like different little cards with people's information and pictures on them and the worst part is also this background awareness that you know it doesn't matter what like your gender is or what your what your preferences are what your like you know that somewhere on the other side of that message your messages and profile are being passed through a committee. You know it. It just, it's happening. And whether it actually is happening or not, there's the background awareness that it's probably happening. And that <laughs> is worse. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the part that I think that I dislike the most about writing dating app profiles is mm-hmm. I'm like, God, this feels, I'm, I'm writing this exclusively for the purpose of a whole bunch of people looking at it and scrutinizing it. And for some reason, that freaks me out more than self-publishing my own fucking games. <laughs> it's so much easier to like to present, like to to be to present as if you are just a walking red flag when you are convinced that you're you are going to be heavily scrutinized. It's like those people who get really nervous at like TSA check checkpoints, right? Where that like in the airport, where they're like they freak out and they're. I don't know if you've seen the. I think it's Jack Whitehall who does like the. Has, like comedian Jack Whitehall, he has a he has a bit on like going through the airport. He gets like super nervous, like irrationally mm-hmm. nervous, and goes from like zero to a hundred in like three seconds when he's going through the TSA checkpoint. <laughs> it's a very funny bit, and Jack Whitehall is very funny. He's one of my favorite comedians, and I recommend that you check him out because he's hilarious. But um, <clears throat> I feel like that's the th- right. Like that's it's easy to present as a walking red flag when you're con- when you are aware that anything you write is going to be heavily scrutinized. Because you're not focused on being like natural or authentic at all. You're like, okay, what's going to come across as good to somebody like who's who, uh, this unknown person who is going to be scrutinizing me? And yeah, yeah. yeah and Kate, so that's because people are critiquing the work, not you, as a theater yeah. human who hates writing about myself but can talk about my shows, etc. For as long, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Like you know, and if somebody is trying to like talk about me personally because of a thing that I wrote, I can just be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Newly human. I will meet people the old fashioned way, have an awkward interaction with someone, then think about it forever while never doing anything about it. Listen, you don't have to fucking call me out like this. <laughs> I didn't list okay, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna like out myself here a little bit, but uh this is a very embarrassing story for me, so you're fucking welcome. Um this is, <laughs> when I when I uh confessed uh to my current partner how I felt it was like we were we started long distance i we were on a we were on a discord call and i i literally i couldn't get the words out until i i literally had to turn off my webcam <laughs> before i could get the words out of my mouth like i couldn't it like they were like catching in my throat until i turned off my webcam not not their their webcam mine like i didn't want them to see me while i was saying it it wasn't that i couldn't look at them while i was saying it i just anyway <laughs> it's super embarrassing and we don't have to talk about it anymore <clears throat> anyway <laughs> the point is that that's what it fucking took for me to like 
so I feel you, newly human. Um, yeah. Mm. For them to literally be 3,000 miles away from me and also that they couldn't see my face while I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, honestly, Kate, That's it's probably that. I didn't want to see me doing it. I didn't want to see me doing it. Uh, that's it. Honestly, it was probably more that than anything. That is like the added the added mix of like the long distance thing is because on basically every single like software, there's at least some small window where you can see yourself at all times. And I'll be honest, like most of the time when I'm saying something on this show, I wind up watching my own face. Absolutely. Um, not while other people are talking, but it, like exclusively when I am yeah. speaking. And I don't know what causes me to do that. Like, it's not really, it, it's not like, oh, is my hair right? I just like, I don't know. Wait, what, what's, you're what, looking at your, what, 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 what am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. For me. <laughs> I'd never look at myself. Every time I have the camera blurred. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your superpower is that every time you focus on yourself, like you just your your cryptid powers activate. It's the it's the cryptid powers. It's it, it also happens every time I, I look at a, a forest camera at night. Yep. <laughs> a trail cam. It's called a trail cam. Yeah. They're like, all right, these trail cams have worked flawlessly for months, and then this motherfucker walked through and looked at one of them, and the whole series of them only take blurry mm -hmm. photos now. Yep. I'm, I'm unbothered, feral, and free. Not free man, <laughs> but free. But free man as well as my name. And on your trail cam, focused and flourishing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> 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 did freeman just did freeman really just like come out here with like a bunch of taglines for himself the cryptid like <laughs> hey somebody's got to mar do the marketing right <laughs> no i i was just I, i'm just uh someone else does marketing i'm just promoting it oh more. gotcha yeah you're just else's, yeah that's somebody else's job yeah, no i've got i've got a guy for marketing um yeah, i'm sorry cryptid. but the, the the idea of a cryptid with like a with a marketing team and a social media manager is <laughs> hilarious to me. That's very funny. <laughs> like sitting off like in the in the sh like there's an interview and they're like sitting off with like a, a voice changer and like they're in like f like fully obscured in shadow mm -hmm. and they're like you know it's really hard to ride the correct line of um, you know uh, you know putting enough information out there to really get people curious but not getting out too much you know. And striking that right right line of boring the photo. <laughs> yeah. If you could just put the right amount of information about me out there, that'd be great. Le legitimately, <laughs> like the like the Chupacabra's publicist is sitting down with him like, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, when the uh, uh, in, at the end of the next month, we're gonna have a photo leak. Uh, uh just a, like a, a brief little thing, right? Just a brief little thing. And then once we let people, we like we let them cook, right? We let them cook. We let we sit there and we wait for a little while. <laughs> We'll give him a few weeks and then release a, a like a statement from a like a known debunker that this was just a an like a was it like a, a hyena with mange or something like that not a hyena <laughs> not a hyena like a like a like a desert like a dog or something like that like a wild mm. dog with mange and then we like mm -hmm. this real thing that happened real story um <laughs> so and like that's just yeah and they're like, it'll really get the buzz going. We gotta get your name back out there into the zeitgeist again. We got, we really gotta get you out there. And this will be. <laughs> oh god, coyote. Yeah, it was like a, but it was, it was a coyote. But it was like, it was um specifically, it was like a, they were speculating that it was like a, it was like a like the the hybrid like uh coyote and like dog mix or something like that with mm -hmm. mange, um, but yeah. <clears throat> For one dollar, name any mammal. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, also, I just want to—I I, want to acknowledge this because I thought it was very funny. Um, Kate earlier said, "From Baldur's Gate three to online dating advice, a ramble mancy story." <laughs> it do be like that though. <laughs> Listen, when we say free range ramble, boy, do we mean it. Um, it's but like sometimes I do come into these with kind of like a loose topic or like a question in mind or like one of us will come in with that and then sometimes truly it is just we're gonna turn the camera and mics on for ninety minutes and and be hooligans on the internet. 
Um, we started out with hooligan energy before we even went live. Like we, <laughs> very true. We really did. Um, the the conversation beforehand uh, contained a non-zero percentage that Elon Musk would buy another social media platform just to ban some motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Also jerks off into a mirror. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody so, worry about that. It's fine. Um, we don't need to talk about that. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Hooligans on the internet should be the channel tagline. Honest honestly, to God. Yeah, it really should be. Because, like, especially once we, like, start kind of pivoting away from doing, like, actual play stuff, that really should be just our tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if if our tagline was just hooligans on the internet who do actual plays sometimes, like, that's that's an acceptable tagline to me. Yeah. <laughs> play table we 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 do game we do game good we do game bad we do, we game. do game good we do game bad we do game <laughs> we do be gaming though we do be gaming both. never don't be gaming <laughs> sometimes they don't they don't they don't they don't think it'd be like it is but a game but a game <laughs> that's gg putting the rol in raffle <laughs> fuck dungeon hooligans that's the name of the game right there um oh, Dennis said so i don't know anything about uh Baldur's Gate 3 darker stuff, and I just met Withers and got background relevance <laughs> inspiration, and I'm fascinated. <laughs> God, all right. playing a character with memory loss, and you all of a sudden get inspired for talking to a random guy, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Man. There's, there, that's, there's, a lot, a lot happened in the last 40 minutes or so. A lot happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 been an adventure of a ramble, Mancy, so far, to use a term that I hate to see on dating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys went to Walmart without me? No. Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Legitimately, though, that was um, that was a that was a that was a thing that we did pretty mm -hmm. often college yeah. down because it legitimately there wasn't a lot to sometimes you were so just bored and it was nighttime and you went to walmart yeah and like shit on campus fuck house that was open so like yeah. yeah especially if you weren't old enough to drink and you didn't want to bother with sneaking in or paying uh the bouncer to let you in at one of the bars in town um so you just just go to walmart <laughs> everything else was closed but walmart's open those are i think equivalent open. experiences yeah, you, I think you are equally likely to run into some fucking weird people at both places. <laughs> yeah, and funnily enough, <laughs> this like the absolute <laughs> skeeviest bar is now gone. Um, the building has fully been torn down and replaced with a quick trip. Uh, that's right. I forgot it, about that. I forgot that's what it's it replaced. A gas it. station now. <laughs> oh, interesting. The I don't know era. that I would call that one the skeeviest one. Honestly, oh, like. There was it's, it was, it was the kind of trashy college bar sometimes. Otherwise, during non-college bar hours, which is to say between the hours of 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. on Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I don't know. Most of the weekend, uh, it was just sort of like kind of a weird divey kind of bar. But there was a skeevier one um, <clears throat> that on the, on kind of the main street where I walked in with my cluster uh, that and like my cluster was uh, mostly international and multicultural students. Um, <clears throat> and we got a lot of very not friendly looks when we walked into that bar doing kind of like a bar crawl. Um, mm -hmm. And immediately people were like, I don't like this. Let's leave. And yeah, so like, <laughs> as far as overall else. skeeviness making my skin crawlness, I think it was that one. Um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 
<laughs> going to the Walmart in the South is looking at Squishmallows and frozen pizzas and looking into the depths of the sporting section and seeing the guns counter. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, yep, I can. You're see in that. the right. You're in the. You're in the right part. How? No, I don't think Walmart can sell guns. What are you talking in about? Of course Iowa. it. Of course it can. In Iowa. Yes. Yeah. The one, yeah, the one yeah. in our college town, absolutely had had like a whole. Yeah, they absolutely did gotta, in their sports section. I gotta, I gotta go into my mind palace for a second. And you're yes, they, okay, sorry. I had to, I had to, yeah. I had to walk through they the score in my hundred percent, one hundred percent did. Yeah, because yeah. you yeah. came in and you went over to the right, and there was the part where yep. like all the toys and games and like the Nerf guns and stuff were, and there was the, like the bikes and the Magic the Gathering yeah. parts were like crammed back there for some reason. And the gardening center was over there, and then you walked past the bikes, and there were a bunch of guns. It was like in the in the far back corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember now. Yeah, so. The room room <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And yep. if you can't, I don't know if it's the same where we are. I think so though. And if not, I think you can at least get it shipped to that location to pick up with ID and stuff. I'm not sure. I Probably. Know. I don't know. It's criminally easy to get a gun in this country. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. it's absurdly. It's easier to get a firearm in this country than it is to renew your goddamn passport. I was going to say. <laughs> not based on a real story. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, said only because that is how I spent most of my afternoon today, fighting bureaucracy, trying to get my passport renewed. Um, I think I would have had way better luck if I was trying to buy a firearm. <laughs> I'd have come home with like 30 of them. Like, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to take on 30 to 50 feral hogs. Easier to get a gun than to functionally leave the country. Yeah, absolutely. It is, truly. Um... Yeah, and actually, um, Kate, you're Australian, right? Which means I don't. Mm, gun laws are pretty strict there. I don't think you could, can. You even have handguns in Australia? Have they? Do they phase that out? I can't remember what the gun laws there are. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Danny, that's a mood. Bet I could get a gun quicker and cheaper than I tried to get on my ADHD meds. <gasps> yeah, mm -hmm. you're probably right. But it's a controlled substance. We have to regulate. Oh, it's just a gun. <laughs> 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 come on like there's there's addiction you got to worry about there's like you know all these like psych like psychological and physiological issues it could cause a gun never hurt anybody yeah uh, look at all these good guys with a gun come oh on. god oh no oh no <laughs> listen there's yeah. a there's a there's it's a there's a, there's, a, there's a billboard up here in the twin cities that i see of iterations mm -hmm. of a lot that's like um Dad, I'm coming for your. I'm coming for your gun, and it's a, uh, or it's and it's an I'm coming for your gun like thing, but it's not like oh the liberals are coming for. It's like a child reaching up into a, a like bedside table thing that's got a handgun in it, and I'm like oh dark but <laughs> effective. Ooh, yeah. Uh, odds, it's okay. I posted the wrong time on Twitter. Um, thank you for pointing out that discrepancy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think the, the thing is I think now we can all agree that if you ever have no idea what time Ramblemancy is it's probably John's fault um, <laughs> unequivocally <laughs> <laughs> I said and then I never checked back to see what you said I said I believe in all caps I hecked up and mm -hmm. then I tweeted a bunch <laughs> of things from the rule of law account <laughs> 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 uh, time zone dupsy it's all good yeah oh gosh what a conversation to come into listen maggie we have been all over the map tonight we started out with baldur's th baldur's gate 3 then we moved into talking about fall stuff then we started talking about online dating and online dating not exactly advice it was more just like talking about it the experience of it and then war, we went into war stories and the experience it's kinda, of it's kind of like war stories <laughs> and then and then we talked about uh adventuring and weird sounds in a, in small rural college towns and then we talked about... <laughs> i was gonna say i'm i'm really sad that you just got here now that we kind of have moved on a little bit from the online dating listen we can go back i got more shit to say like <laughs> 
Oh, listen, we got another 35 minutes of this show left, baby. Like, <laughs> um, I also just wanted to, uh, to, uh, touch back on the, the, the question I asked Kate, uh, because they said it's incredible, only with a lot of licensing, it's incredibly difficult to fire, difficult to get firearms. There's a ton of rules around like storage and moving them and stuff as there should be. And I think I remember, this is what I remember reading about. There was a huge buyback thing that started in like the nineties that worked really well. And they bought, I think they bought them back in like stages. And so like they bought back first, like big guns, like they, uh, all the other stuff. And then like worked their way down to, down to just like small firearms and small arms and stuff like mm. that. So. We made a brief stop in the middle of the night Walmart. We did. That's true. We keep coming back to the night Walmart, which again, it's just like a, it's a fundamental It's also like part of many. It's it's like fundamentally tied to uh to like the other the other topics, right? Cuz like the rural college town that was the place that we went went because there wasn't shit else to do and then there was the uh it's tied to online dating because of the like you know because saying i love going on adventures is just code for i like to go to walmart in the middle of the night um and like so it's fundamentally tied to all of these topics in some way or other <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> uh man the night mm -hmm. Walmart run was my favorite thing when I worked as a camp counselor. Yeah, like, sometimes there's just something about, like, getting a group of yahoos together to, like, spur of the moment, go to Walmart in the middle of the night to get nothing in particular. Like, there's just something, like, sort of, it's it's sort of a bonding experience in a weird way. <laughs> there's just something about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, um, I, I, I wound up having a lot of very, doing a lot of very silly, enjoyable things. Um, there, there are some fun pictures that exist somewhere of playing hide and seek in the paper products section of Walmart. Um, cause the, the racks back there were huge. And so were the giant piles of like 89 pack, like fucking like toilet paper and paper towels. Like giant things of, of of TP or paper towels or whatever, half yeah. the size of my fucking bed. Like, yeah. <laughs> Can vibe with this experience as I also went to rural college and did my fair share of midnight Walmart runs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. That's just like a common experience that like a lot of like at the very least, like in this country because i don't know how you know like clearly like kate you've had this experience as well so but like at least in this country because i don't know how universal this is but like at least in this country how like how many people can vibe with that with like that experience of like late night walmart runs that's very funny to me i don't know it's just <laughs> we've all been mm -hmm. there we've all been there uh <clears throat> man also, going to Walmart in your costume from Cats the Musical. Good times. Oh my Holy god. Holy shit, Amity. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, if I need to say you don't go to Denny's, you end up at Denny's. <laughs> that was true for me in college. Man, if we'd had a Denny's in our college town, that was uh, absolutely that would have been true. God, they'd have made a killing in that town with the college population. God, I I shudder to think at the effect that a Denny's would have had on our college experience. Absolutely, frankly. yeah, <laughs> that like, was it's... yeah. Midnight McDonald's runs in costume were such a thing when I was at university. I believe that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> My friend used to say, "You don't go to Denny's; you end yeah. up at Denny's," and that was true for me. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes away but it was open late and yeah like if it's all if it's already midnight like you what's 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 an hour and a half round trip <laughs> yeah yeah oh man taco bell in your college town but it made the mistake of closing at 11 p.m what were they thinking what were they thinking That's that's They're, a terrible business choice. You might as well, like, if you're a Taco Bell, 
in a college town and you close at 11 p.m., even on weekends. Setting money on fire. I was about to say, you might as well. Like, it would be the same as going outside and literally pouring gasoline all over your money and setting it on fire. That's insane. That is insane behavior. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I've told this story before on stream, but, like, I, I, the subway next to the, the like, sort of skeevy college bar was a completely different store between the hours of like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whenever it opened and like 8 p.m. and then like 11 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, because it was located like directly next to um, the bar. And I found this out the hard way as a freshman after I I was I was helping like clean up after after the the, the homecoming like festivities and it was like. 1 30 in the morning i was like when does subway close and so i was like two and i was like great that's enough time for me to bike down there and so i did and i got there and i get in line i was like wow it's it's weirdly busy in here why is that <sighs> the really the, the, the loud bass from the building next door didn't tip you off <laughs> <laughs> i think i was a little bit deaf uh still from the dance uh Fair. <laughs> Um, and also, I was very hungry, um, and I just had, like, the wind in my ears coming coming down the hill, and so I probably just, like, wasn't really paying attention, and then I walked in, there was a shitload of people in there, um, and some guy asked me if I wanted to go to a party about 40 times um, while we were while we were in line <laughs> for, like, eight or nine minutes. Um, it was very funny. It was so funny. He was so incredibly drunk. Um i almost got into a f i well i don't think it was close i don't think it was that close but i it felt like i was about to get into a fight in that subway where there was this guy who was just being like really belligerent and whatever and i didn't say anything to the guy i was frustrated and like kind of secondhand embarrassment for him being like as weird as he was being in, in that subway but he like turned and looked at me and there must have been like something on my face or whatever but he like got up like into my face and was like was like uh was like literally i honestly it was ca a caricature because he literally said the words to me hey you want to fight like he literally said that to me and i was like i looked at him dead in the face and completely deadpan i was just like nah you'll probably kick my ass um <laughs> and then and then he like he like froze didn't know what to do with that and then laughed and the, the drunk guy laughed was like ha ah, this guy this guy and then forgot about my existence for the rest of the time i was there so like <laughs> Jesus Christ, drunk people are so wild. <laughs> it was it was a whole thing. I'm honestly he was in line in front of me and he walked out after that, which made me think like did he forget why he was here? Like did he think that he had succeeded ordering a sandwich or was he like not there to order a sandwich? I don't know. He was there to pick a fight in the subway. <laughs> um <laughs> 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 the 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 like the like belligerent drunk person in him was searching desperately for the <laughs> hole in his life that was a Denny's parking lot and Subway <laughs> filled a little bit of it. Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like it's always very very easy for me to defuse fights because like if somebody gets into my in my face, I'm not going to get in their face. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to escalate that shit. Why would I do that? That what what does, what purpose does that serve? I save a little bit of pride? Absolutely not. Listen, I lost my dignity a long time ago. You think I'm gonna? <laughs> you think I'm gonna like get my face punched over something I don't have? Um, no, thank you. I <laughs> I'm absolutely gonna be like, nah. You'll probably kick my ass. Cause it's true. He probably would. But uh, listen. <laughs> I just, if someone gets my face, I'm impressed because it takes a lot to get up this high. Yeah, it's <laughs> quite literally not a, as, as, a, as, as somebody who is five foot five, is quite literally not a high bar to get into my face. Um, it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, like, if anybody ever genuinely tried to pick a fight with me, I think the most likely outcome of something coming to blows is I'm just going to do what I did in, like, the third grade when a kid was bullying me on the playground and kick them really hard between the legs and run away. 
Like that's that's my whole strategy. Yeah. <laughs> I like, started taking Taekwondo a few weeks after this kid got into the habit of like tackling me at recess when other teachers were looking and just pummeling me. Um, and so I, I, unrelated to this incident, started taking Taekwondo. And so like after a week or two of this, I was a week or two into into, into getting my white belt. Um, and uh, and he tried to he tried to knock me down, and I just I just I just went like. I just like kind of like slapped his arms away and then took a step back and he tried to get, I just kicked him. And of course the teacher saw that. And so I went, <laughs> I went up there's detention. There's a lot to be said about like training, actual training and discipline, but there's nothing wrong with a good kick to the nuts or some yep. pockets. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Truly just like, Oh, or hold hot, on. I got like a your, little... your coffee is like, you have a hot beverage in your hand. There's yeah. just nothing. Yeah. Just like, like net walk away. <laughs> the thing is like, I feel like, in a fight because like i also did taekwondo for a lot for a while when i was younger and like i know for a fact that like a lot of that like muscle memory is still there even though i like haven't done it in like years years and years and years but a lot of that muscle memory is still there but that doesn't mean i'm gonna let myself get into a fight please i will like maybe i could hold my own but i will not come out the better of out of that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like I am going like, to take so many hits and just be miserable. Like it's not going to be good. Like it like, won't. It frankly, wouldn't... yeah. The, my response to somebody legitimately trying to cause me harm is probably just like, "I'm very tall. I have very long legs. I'll outrun you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just. I don't know. I. uh Yeah. Sorry, hold on one second. No worries. One... I'm a bit of a glutton um, for punishment. I, th- I think I would probably say something that would probably get myself in some trouble, but it's okay. Ah, good scrap every once in a while. It's just what I need for my vitamin D <laughs> supplement. I will be right back. Uh, I just have to go take care of something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Um... Maggie said, I was once collateral damage in a bar fight. A drunk girl threw a drink at another girl and missed, but it splashed me square in the face. But I was too drunk to realize what had happened until I couldn't see because my eyes hurt. Oh, no. I'm still Maggie. very sorry. That is awful. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, and then Odd said, I don't, I don't understand wanting to fight someone, probably because I'm a total beta. No, like, listen... It's it's never at the top of my priority. It's never been at the top of my priority list. I've never okay. There's been exactly one time that I've legitimately wanted to hit somebody, um, and that was my old roommate. Um, <laughs> they, it's a it, it's an it's it's a long, very wild story. But uh, the gist of it is that. Uh, they like shorted me and one of my other roommates on rent and then uh like then tried to like adopt a pet while we were covering them and then decided when we got mad about that that they were going to move out and then after they moved out without breaking the lease they were sub they were they were going to sublet but they didn't find anybody right away so they moved out we're paying rent somewhere else and then came over and started yelling at me for not having found people to replace them yet and like there were just a few things that they said in the course of that conversation where i just had to like i have never in my life felt this urge to break somebody's nose but now i understand the dark <laughs> to make the Baldur's Gate 3 reference the dark urge <laughs> we were in the ki- we were in the kitchen of our house and there was like a there was a, 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 a like 8 inch frying pan in the, the dish rack in front of me and I was like I just had this this fla- oh hmm? I had this this moment this this flash it just a vivid scene appeared in my head of that pan connecting with my then ex roommate's face and it was very satisfying to think about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I think God. that's the only that's the only time that I have even come close to. <laughs> I did punch a kid in middle school. Mm. That was mm. I, I got suspended for that. He was being an asshole. And also he was bullying kids the whole year. Like 
this was like towards the end of the year he was like bullying everybody and he was just a real problem and like the teachers even acknowledged that he was a problem but like wouldn't do anything about it um and like parents were complaining all year about this kid and finally like there was one time we were in like a, a music class and he was just being obnoxious because he didn't want to be there and mm -hmm. so he was just being disruptive and obnoxious and I, he was next to me and i was like dude shut up and he looked at me he's like make me and then i like blacked out and uh <laughs> the, the, the next thing i remember uh was the teacher like the teacher was standing from where she had previously been sitting behind the piano she was all standing and like you know like the aftermath of like impact you can how you can feel like the after aftermath of like impact i could feel it on like my, my fist but like i i was just sort of sitting there and i was like looking around and everyone was staring at me and I was like what happened <laughs> so yeah yeah anyway. it's the, uh, um... to this day there are there are parents like of, of children of like my, my uh, classmates to this day there are parents of those who are like will still like they'll like find like run into my mom and like they'll they'll ask her about me or whatever and they'll be like man I remember when he hit that kid. He was my hero. Like, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't. Uh. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, you remember? You remember when your son punched that kid's lights out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, that was. Yep. Oh god, I, I'm gonna catch up on chat real quick. Uh, and he said, I never got in any fights or danger in college, but I was a lone wo woman walking across campus at 2 a.m. from the art building to my dorm several times. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I was always texting Gilly, so my disappearance would be reported instantly. <laughs> That's where our true bond started. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, That'll do yeah. it. Uh, and Amity uh, uh, agreeing. Yeah, I, under I, 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 I sympathize. Uh, Kate said... Same, but I am approximately the size and shape of Brienne of Tarth, so not a target. <laughs> <luckily. laughs> yeah, fair. A plus, a plus reference. There's been. While I'm still, I'm going to continue catching up on chat, but I do have to say there has been a weird resurgence of people in my life uh, making like alluding to Game of Thrones and like getting into Game of Thrones who were never into it when it was hmm. popular. Um, but so that's that's it's just like. It's one of those, if I had a nickel for every time, it's not very much, but it's still weird that it happened two or three times. <laughs> like, that's just happened to me right. in the last few weeks. We're like, oh, my partner and I are finally watching uh, Game of Thrones, or somebody makes, like, a... a to which I would like, respond, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm like... I'm sorry, sorry, you I'm lost. Gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try very hard to be happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yikes, Maggie! That's incredible. Holy shit! I fight psychologically. I almost cost a girl a full ride scholarship to Notre Dame in high school because she sent me death threats. Fucking iconic. <laughs> Damn. Yikes. First of all, don't send people death threats. Like, why? Why are you fucking doing this? Shut the fuck up. Secondly, iconic, Maggie. Absolutely iconic. <laughs> God, that reminds me. That reminds me of of, of a, a stunt that my middle school, not middle school, my my sophomore year uh, honors English teacher. An anecdote she told us about one of her previous students um, when she was talking to us about plagiarism uh, and how it will fucking ruin your life. Don't do it. Uh, and it was really more of a cautionary story of don't burn this teacher, but. Uh, she had a student who like submitted a poem to a national competition um, and got like all the way to the finals before somebody realized somebody at the competition who re like realized that the poem was like plagiarized from a very very like obscure like archaic book of poetry from from like the renaissance or something like that like they had they had plagiarized a really old obscure poem and submitted as their own work um and uh when she confronted the student about it uh the student said something to the effect of like oh i thought you knew um and the result was that every single college that she applied to because it was a matter of public record at the time 
uh, this teacher went and 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 wrote a letter to every single one of them explaining what had happened with the poetry competition, and she didn't get into a single college. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was like, Jesus. oh my god, that's fucking diabolical. Amity says, when the people who bullied you the most in high school were also your friends. I hear ya. I was there. I was in a pretty rough friend group for a while, too, in high school. It was not good. Um, and that was before Freeman and I were friends. And so I, you could say that shortly thereafter, I upgraded significantly. Um, <laughs> 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 but, like, uh, Luther yeah. Was, Luther was full of a lot of significant upgrades. <laughs> Yeah, but like in high school, there I was definitely part of that group where like it was a, it was literally like I'm not even joking. It was a group of like the mean girls and the Oof. guys that like I, like the guys that I had been friends with previously sort of merged with that friend group, and like it was weirdly in it was a weirdly incestuous dating situation where like at some point there were like every except for me, uh, which should have been like anyway. Uh, except for me, every there was every possible combination at some point or other of those people dating each other, and it was it was a whole it, lot. That's true. It's vampires though have a thing, right? When they have like a group of followers, there aren't vampires yet. Well, they're under the control of the vampire, right? That's what thralls. it felt like. Thralls, thralls. yeah, yep, yeah. It was it was rough. It was not a good. So I hear you. I hear you, Amity. Like those were those were people that like I was friends with, and they were the people that bullied me the most. So like. Yeah. Polar Knights, good morning from Norway. Oh my gosh, hello, welcome. Um Amazing. Good morning. Uh I'm glad glad to have you here for like well we're it, we're, 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 we're we've still got time. You still got time, but um yeah. Welcome you've, um, on in. You've, you've chosen an excellent evening to jump into Ramble Nancy. It has been truly a free range uh a free range conversation. Oh god, we've been all over the place tonight. So it's We've truly been all over that. usual. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, oh no, Amity, that's so much worse. My friend group was the nerds. <laughs> we were the outcast dorks of, and the bullying still came from inside the house. Oh, that's so much worse. Cause like, th that always pisses me off, like so much when that kind of thing happens. Because it's like those are like the people that you expect to understand how destructive that kind of shit can be. You know, mm -hmm. like. The same kind of thing happens, I think, when with like within like ADHD, well, probably other other communities as well. Because like for from, but that's where my experience of this is, where like you see other people with ADHD telling other people with ADHD, well, you just gotta like apply yourself. Like I don't have that much trouble with it. I don't have that whatever. It's like my dude, you of all people should be understanding of this situation. Like that kind of shit pisses me off. Sorry, I, I, ah. Uh, I'm so sorry, Amity. That fucking sucks. Um, yeah. Also, hi, Allison. Hi, Allison. Um, From your lunch break. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I was the dork that was six uh, or seven meters tall. Uh, the, the mean dicks did not even dare to say hello to me. Fair enough. Like, there is... This is not an experience that I share, but there is something to being the really tall person uh, to, like, avoid get it and getting you bullied, so you know yeah, fair enough I, I like i i will say i i i don't know if that was part of the equation um or if i just got really good at, at flying under the radar but i didn't really have a lot of problems with that once i got like to middle school and later like i, mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot of it was it was mostly like elementary that i feel like i had the most the most like kind of bullying problems and then they kind of all stopped after i kicked that <laughs> yeah my my um, bullying mainly happened in middle school. It started in middle school and kind of ended in high school. Um, and it's... I say it started in middle school because it would imply a whole lot of terrible things that are just not true if I said that it started earlier than that because up until middle school, I was homeschooled. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I was not bullied in, in elementary school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless you count I... my mom, uh, like constantly being on me to do my math problems, um, which you know, How... <laughs> absolutely bullying. <laughs> Making you do math. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
Clements. And uh, I talked to the school bullies to the day uh, when I asked for an extra straw for my milkshake. <laughs> or I talked to I talked to the school bullies today. Yeah. Silver Shaker, um, Risa, hi. Risa, hi. Uh, cl- re- uh, Risa, yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, closest I came to a fight was when I reported this one woman nearly twice my age for really just being miserable and making my job harder. My manager told her, and she came out of that meeting and got right up in my face. I tried to put in my two weeks' notice, and she said, and I quote, you can't quit. There are people... There are women being raped in Africa right now, and if they heard you were complaining, they would come over here and kick your ass. Holy non sequitur, Batman. What the fuck? Uh huh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's like that the. Is... That's, that's, that's a leap. There's there's things going on here. Whoa. Hey, about the whiskey. I know I'm, gonna, I'm regretting yeah. my choices now. <laughs> I wish I'm that I'd, I'm doing just great. <laughs> I, wish, <laughs> I wish that I'd poured myself a glass of goddamn God. whiskey prepared for reading that. That's worst, like the worst that's worst job like worst I ever had. I don't think you needed to express that in this case. <laughs> but I yeah, it's yeah. good for the confirmation. I'm glad. But I don't think you needed to like I don't think that context was needed, but I think, because I think we all got there on our own, but that's, I believe you, that's, who, who, oh, 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 no. Yeah, like, that's, that's like the worst possible version of the, you're not eating your vegetables, and like, somebody goes, oh, there are starving children in, insert whatever <laughs> fucking country. I right also now. love that she specified at, in Africa, like it's not happening other places. Like, yeah, no, exclusively <laughs> there. Nowhere else. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, whew, wow. Okay. Yikes. To turn the that's conversation on his head, do I buy the deluxe Baldur's Gate 3 or just the base game? Um, I personally, Kate, I bought the... Well, I got the base game, and then I later bought the deluxe version because I really wanted the soundtrack, and the soundtrack fucking slaps. So, um, that is up to you. Um, regular is fine. Like, the the regular one is, is totally fine. You'll have, like, the, there's nothing, like, groundbreaking in the deluxe version, but, like, the soundtrack, I think, makes it worth it. And then there's, like, some in-game items and stuff like that, um, but they're not, like, special, like, uh, like stat improving items for the most part they're mostly just like easter eggs for divinity to original sin so like they're, li- they're little like references to that so for the most part mm-hmm. but, yeah a cape a cool cape yeah <clears throat> um i was thinking I... about this earlier because uh, this was this on the subject of like bullying um the closest i think that i ever came to being cyber bullied was Actually, in college, weirdly enough, um, uh, I realize that makes it sound like it's like it's unheard of that cyberbullying happens. In co- I'm sure it's not. It's just like I feel like by the, like in college, everybody has like so much other shit to worry about that like where where do they find the time? But I guess shitty people are always gonna find the time to be shitty. Um, but there was, and to be clear, in this specific instance, I don't. It, it this this story has has sort of a happy ending um but that was so like there was a, i think it was my junior year in college there was a page that somebody had started at our school that i will not say the name of because it also includes like sort of proper n- names from like the place but it was a page that was essentially exclusively its exclusive purpose was for people to post pictures from the aforementioned skeevy college bar um Mm. usually of women um Um. and uh the in the in uh intention of this was to basically shame them for being hoes um and it could have been any number of things that were posted there like two people making out on the dance floor or like anything, right? Literally anything. Um, and it was bad, but there was one instance where this guy who I did not particularly like, 
Uh, in fact, I very, very much disliked him. But he he came down from because I was I was sitting with my girlfriend in the union, um, and he came downstairs from the admissions office and found me, and he was like, "Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I just found this picture on the on the site," and he like it was a picture from like earlier that day of me like when I was leaving to go to class, just like kissing my girlfriend um when i was leaving and with like a caption uh that was like save it for like the bars or something like that or whatever and i really didn't know how to feel he's like i've been talking he's like i was talking to student life about it he's like and i'm we're trying to like get the page shut down he's like but i don't i just figured i figured you would want to know and i was like okay i appreciate that so i went to student life to talk to somebody about it and after I finished explaining the whole thing, he looked at me. He's like, okay, well, what do you think, what would you like to do about this? And I stopped for a moment. I thought about it. And I was like, I don't think I want there to, tr to like be any kind of like punishments for this girl. Like this, this was like some freshman girl who like had taken this picture of us and like whatever. And I was like, I don't think I want that. I think I want to reach out to her first and then depending on her response then maybe we can pursue something and he's like i think that was a good i think that's a good idea so I, like i sent her this long email being like hey you don't know me and the reason that i mentioned that as much as that might seem like an obvious detail is because i cannot fathom a single reason why you would do this kind of thing to somebody that you don't know and whatever and i like, went into like a whole thing and i like, started literally like i opened the whole thing with like details about my life like, I opened the email with, like, details about, like, who I am as a person and, like, what I'm studying at the, at the school, whatever. And then I was like, the reason that I'm telling you this is because I don't understand why you would do this to somebody that you don't know, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, and, and I ended it with, like, <clears throat> I haven't gone to student life with this about, about this yet because I honestly think that I, you, like, you deserve to, like, the benefit, of, not the benefit of the doubt, but, like, the, the chance to, like, make this right. And I, and I was like, but if you don't, if I, and if I don't hear from you, then I'm, I'm going to have no choice. And I, I, I said, and like, I'll, I'll end with like this, which is a, a piece of advice. You're a freshman here. You're brand new. Um, and you go to a very small school. Shit gets around. Um, and like, so it's really, you have to be really careful in a place like this, like, what how you like behave and how you like comport yourself and the, the actions you take because shit gets around and i was like so just a piece of advice that like this kind of thing behaving this way can come back to bite you in a place like this and i and i let it go and she emailed me back like so like embarrassed and apologetic and was like i'm taking it down right now i'm never posting on that site again i'm never whatever all this sort of stuff like i'm so sorry and like whatever never had any other interactions with her again and i like i was like you know what i like we're cool i'm i'm glad that you're able to like recognize that and realize sometimes you just like don't know what you're doing you're just you don't realize what you're doing because you're just doing it because it's what's you know it's the thing that is done and it's i think it's criminally easy to like dehumanize other people and to like you know you not realize that you're hurting another person by doing something. You're just doing it because like, Hey, I'm just posting on this funny site. It's like, that's yeah, but you're hurting someone, you know, like by doing it, it's yeah. And you, it's really easy to get caught up in that stuff. So like the fact that she was just like, she was like, I am so sorry. I'm super embarrassed. And like, whatever, like, you know, yeah. Instead of driving the car, the car is driving you. Exactly. Matt, like it's easy. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we've all been there in some capacity or another where we're just doing something. We're not really thinking about what we're doing or the impact of it. We're just doing it. But then we made a, are made aware of the impact. We're like, oh, fuck. What was what is wrong with me? What was I doing? You know, what was I thinking? So, yeah, I didn't really hold it against her. I, you know, it was it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah. 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 No, I mm, man, I remember being being a freshman and like some of those weird little weird little like facebook groups and websites that that flew around for various things that were real weird and always wound up going down in some kind of like drama fueled flames yeah because no matter whether or not they had an innocuous uh like beginning it was it was all it it it, it seldom turned out well yeah yeah so Shame works sometimes. 
It absolutely does. Like, genuinely, sometimes you just, like... Because she, like, I... Actually, the reason I... I, I had sort of forgotten about this, but I actually found that email. Um, I found that email recently. And the tone of that email, I could tell she felt horrible. She was so embarrassed and, like, yeah. Um, and I think, if I remember correctly, she even thanked me for, like you know, setting her straight, basically. Like, she, she even thanked me for, like, you know, doing that. She's like, and I, I will never be posting on, like, those kind of, like, on that site again or whatever. And, like, it's, yeah, I've had it taken down. And, yeah. <laughs> it's the same in small towns. The reason you behave is because it always gets back to your family. Yeah. Like, in, sm in a, in a, in a big-ass city, like, you can, you can go high, like, you can, I'll probably never see my like my old shitty roommates again. Mm -hmm. um, even if I like, I would have to try really hard, um, like, to 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 run into them again. But like in a in a small town, yeah, that shit's gonna follow you forever. I, honestly, <laughs> I used to joke that you could say something like at our school, you could say something to yourself alone in your room, and in like a week somebody's like hey so i heard that you like and like you could say it to literally one person alone in a room where there were no there was nobody to overhear and somehow it would get to somebody else some like it's totally unrelated person that was just it just happens that's just the way it is like yeah like and like to be clear like the 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 piece of advice that I was giving her wasn't like as I realized the way I was explaining it sounded kind of like threatening but it wasn't it was just a like don't shit where you eat sort of that that was the that was the advice that I was like that I was giving her like you go to a small school don't shit where you eat like that's <laughs> that kind of stuff can come back around like and just fuck you at some point <laughs> mm -hmm. like it's bad yeah yeah, you don't you don't want to be like looking for people to collaborate with in like your junior and senior year and have them be like, oh no, I remember the kind of shit that you wanted yeah. to post like a, a couple of years ago, like fucking yeah. Yep. So also yeah, I just realized that it is in fact it is in fact Friday the thirteenth, and I have gone through nine twenty two and a half hours of. <laughs> or 21 and a half hours of Friday the 13th without realizing it. I would love to be able to blame my struggles <laughs> with bureaucracy today on it being Friday the 13th, but that's just the way bureaucracy be. Like, that's just... Mm -hmm. That's just... So, you know. Anyway. Um, I see that it is the end of our time here uh, to this evening. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think we're we're gonna head off, but... Thank you so much, everybody, for coming and joining us on this, uh, this just all over the place Ramble Mansi. I feel like this was even more than usual, just all over. Oh my gosh, newly human. P.S. My birthday is Monday. I'm joining the 31 uh, Club. Hey, happy early birthday. Happy Welcome birthday. to the 31 Club. <laughs> I will be joining that club in about two months time. Yeah, three months. About three months time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, welcome to the Thirty One Club. It's here. Welcome to the Thirty One Club. I'm on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> Freeman's, one, Freeman's grabbing one his hat. One Thirty One leaves, another enters. <laughs> <laughs> Shut That's up, you it. babies. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh. <laughs> uh, it's okay uh it's okay silver uh because if you came in late to the show today uh we will be right here again next week at this exact time yeah and what time uh, is that again john that time is <laughs> 6 p.m pacific and 8 p.m central 7 p.m if you're in the mountains and 9 p.m if you are on the east coast i can do time zone math uh, <laughs> But more than just Ramble Mancy, we do actually have two pieces of programming next week. Uh, our right. our our um, actual play, uh, Tomorrow is Dead, is returning with a second season. It's coming back on Wednesday the 18th at 6 p.m. Pacific. 
<laughs> yes, I will overpronounce this every single time for the next two months. Um, but yeah, coming back at 6 p.m. Pacific next week, uh, Freeman and I are both playing in it. Lucas is GMing. Uh, our, our entire cast is returning for the premiere, of course, sans Allison, who we must steal. Mm-hmm. Um, on that subject, we also have, for the first time ever, some Tomorrow is Dead merch. Uh, you can get it right now in our merch store. I, that, sorry, I hesitated because I'm like, did I make that visible? I absolutely did. You can get it right now. Uh, we have our Tomorrow is Dead collage tees that you can get designed by our very own Brita Don. And, um, they contain a whole host of objects and items important to the first season um, and little Easter eggs in there as well. Um, so yeah, go ahead and go, go check it out. It's in there. You can get it right now. Uh, literally right at this moment, you could be getting a Tomorrow is Dead collage tee. Um, mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's also a great way to support the channel. And, mm-hmm. but the best way by far currently is by subscribing to us our, on our Patreon, joining our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Um, you get all sorts of great stuff there. Um, <clears throat> it is almost, almost single-handedly the only reason that we were able to do some of our earlier production stuff. Um, and so, yeah, it was about, I'd say about 50-50, the Patreon and our, like, fundraising efforts that we did earlier this year. Um, so it is hugely helpful and there's all sorts of goodies and and rewards that you can get in there. Some of them, I will say, some of that stuff, uh, some of the tiers are not updated. Um, in particular, the ten dollar tier is not currently updated, uh, with the most up to date rewards. But uh, the rest of them are fully up to date. So, um, yeah, that's that's all I got. Otherwise, join the Discord if you're not there already. I think everybody here pretty much is in the Discord. But if not, you should join it um discord it's... get you some anyway um <laughs> yeah that's all i got sorry i ran out of steam at the very end of the... <laughs> yeah no i mean that's 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 i think that's most of our announcements i would say follow us on our other social media but uh twitter is actively burning to the ground mm-hmm. and we have not really uh cultivated any other online present uh presences yeah. uh in its stead so yeah. um if you can... we are to be found somewhere we are to be found at rule of lore yeah you can also find i think all three of us are on blue sky currently um yep so you can That's find true. us over on blue sky uh i i still have the same the same like handle it's down there um but with the blue sky stuff you can find me you'll find me oh, oh um, i don't want to change mine it's, it's, it's oh. different <laughs> Yeah, mine's different. Mine is now forced cryptid. Ah, uh, yes. Oh well, we'll have to. I'll have to change the like info in our little in our things. But yes, we are over there on on blue sky. Um, oh, no, your 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 blue oh, yeah. sky uh, PFP is yeah very good. All right, we're gonna go. Um, we will hopefully see you next week for tomorrow is dead, season two, episode one. Uh, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific. But if not, we'll see you the next time you decide to come. Roll with us. Good night and good zone, everybody.